everyone and welcome to part four in my winter book haul series and this is going to be a pretty big part i can't wait for the editing yay so i've got over 20 books to show you today most of them are ones that i got from the publishers by netgalley but there are also some ones that i purchased for my kindle towards the end of this video so first on to the netgalley books and we have unpunished by lisa black and this is a mystery thriller novel. I don't know an awful lot more about it than that. I don't want to. It's a thriller. I don't want to spoil myself. Then we have Down the Rabbit Hole by Julia Crane. And this is a twisted tale of two sisters bound by blood and separated by magic. Then we have The Hope Chest by Viola Shipman. And this one says that it's a deeply emotional novel about three people who have seemingly lost all hope until one woman's heirloom hope chest is to rediscovered in the attic along with its contents and secrets. Next we have The Best of Adam Sharp and this is by Graham Simpson and I'm really excited to get to this one because I'm currently reading The Rosie Project and I'm loving it so in fact by the time you're watching this I will hopefully finish The Rosie Project because this is some quite advanced pre-filming for me. Then we have Wayfarer which is the second and final book in the Passenger duology by Alexandra Bracken and I read Passenger last year, I thought it was yeah, okay, there was bits that I really loved, there were bits that I thought dragged like, oh my goodness. And so all the same, when I saw the chance to pick up this second book, I did, and the only thing is I'm not in any rush to get to it because it's just, I'm worried this could be like the first one where it just drags and drags and drags and drags, gets good, then goes back to dragging again. And have you read it? Let me know whether you enjoyed it down below. Then we have The Last to Die by Kelly Garrett and this one is about a 16 year old who makes a pact to engage in a series of almost illegal break-ins from what I can make of the description. Then we have Traitor to the Throne by Alwyn Hamilton and this is of course a sequel to Rebel Sands. I've not read that one yet. I do own it though so maybe I can read them back to back if I feel in the mood to do so. Then I have All Our Wrong Todays by Ellen Maste. How you say it? Must stay, must die. And I'm not really totally sure what this one's about, to be honest, but that cover was just too interesting for me to not check out. Then we have Backstabber by Kimberly Chambers. And this just be seems to be some sort of typical mystery novel. Then Under the Harrow by Flynn Berry. And this one sounds just totally my cup of tea, to be honest with you. It says, when Nora takes a train from London to visit her sister in the countryside, she expects to find her waiting at the station or at home cooking dinner. But when she walks into Rachel's familiar house, what she finds is entirely different. Her sister has been the victim of a brutal murder. That is just my kind of book right there. Then we have Paris for One and Other Stories by Jojo Moyes. And this is a collection of short stories by the author. I've not read anything by her, although I do own several different books. So whether this will be the first one I pick up or whether I go for something else first, all the same, I'm really excited to check this out. Then we have Some Things Alive on the Titanic, not gonna lie. Totally picked this up just because it's about the Titanic. And this is by Robert J. Serling. And this one seems to sort of combine the past with the present, working out where everything sort of failed. And then it seems to go a bit sci-fi or a bit just generally crazy towards the bottom. I don't know. That bit's a bit weird. It'll definitely be one that I pick up sooner than later regardless though because I love Titanic books. Then we have The Book of Summer by Michelle Gable and this is just a contemporary adult novel. Then we have Black Water Lilies by Michael Boussy. Michel Boussy. I don't know how to pronounce that name. And this is a modern crime fiction. And again, this is one that just sounded really interesting. So this is a story of 13 days that begin with one murder and end with another. Jerome Morval, a man whose passion for art was matched only by his passion for women, has been found dead in the stream that runs through the gardens at Giverny, where Monet did his famous paintings. In Jerome's pocket is a postcard of Monet's water lilies with the words 11 years old, happy birthday. And then there's sort of a several people that are sort of uh, entangled in the mystery. Next we have Mask of Shadows by Lindsay Miller. This one looks really interesting. It says that, oh what are with these names? This person whose name I can't yet work out how to pronounce is a thief and a good one at that. Oh that's good, we get to shorten the person's name to Sal. 
great. But gender fluid Sal wants nothing more than to escape the drudgery of a life as a highway robber and get closer to the upper class and the nobles who destroyed their home. I think this will either be fantastic or crap. I'm hoping for fantastic. And that was it for the net galley books. It wasn't quite as many as I felt, obviously. And now onto the Kindle purchases. There aren't too many of these, so this shouldn't take too long at all. First we have, oh my, how on earth do you say that? Skintillate, which is from the Like You trilogy by Tracy Clark. And I don't really know an awful lot about this one. I'm not entirely sure why I bought it, who recommended it to me, where I saw it. Either way, I paid 99p for it. Then we have Confess by Colleen Hoover. Oh, look, I'm buying another Colleen Hoover book, even though I've still not read all the other ones I own. But, you know, I'm going to own all the books at this rate, and I'll be able to just make a video going, pick a Colleen Hoover book for me to start with, and you can all just tell me which one to read first. Then we have The Farm by Tom Rob Smith, and I don't know why I picked this one up either. I'm at the point where I've had some of these books on my Kindle wish list for so long that when they do drop to 99p, I'm like, Oh yes, that was finally 99p. Can't remember why I'm buying it anymore. Bye. Then we have Spelled, which is the first book in the Stora Makers series by Betsy Shaw. Betsy Shaw? I'm not sure. I've heard quite mixed things about this one, but again, it was 99p and it's been on my radar, so I thought I'll take the chance to grab it. Then we have Truth Witch, which is the first book in the Witchland series by Susan Dennard. And I've been seeing so much about this series and I can't wait to get stuck into it. Next, probably and possibly one of the books that I am most excited for in this entire haul, and that is Three Dark Crowns by Kendar Blake. I have been wanting to read this since I heard it coming out. I have seen people whose reviews I respect and adore all give it just wonderful, wonderful glowing reviews, and I just, I want to read this book so badly right now. And the final book in this haul is I Ripper, a novel by Stephen Hunter. And this is related to Jack the Ripper in some way, shape or form, I am sure, with that title. And so that will be why I picked this one up and it will definitely be one that I'll try to get to again sooner rather than later because much like the Titanic, I am obsessed with reading about Jack the Ripper. So that is the end of this massive Kindle book haul. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to discuss any of these books with me, if you want to recommend any other books with me, drop me a comment down below. There'll be an image popping up somewhere around now, if it's not already there, just there, of me. And you can click that to subscribe if you haven't done already. My next video will be on Tuesday, I think it is. This is the problem when you start pre-recording terribly far in advance. And then you're trying to work out what video is actually next. But I think my next video is on Tuesday with a book review for you. And then obviously I'll be here on Wednesday with my weekly reading wrap-up. So I will see you then. Bye-bye!